president vowing to provide even more tax relief for Americans. Watch. We're now going for a phase two. We're actually going for a phase two, which will help, uh, in addition to the middle class, will help companies. And it's going to be something, I think, very special. Kevin Brady is working on it with me. Congress is working. The Senate's working. Joining me right now, Vice Chair of the House Republican Conference, Congressman Doug Collins. Congressman, I like the sound of this. More tax cuts. What would that look Sorry. like? Oh, it sounded good. It's like making permanent some things that we, we looked at before when we put it in there. Let's give some permanence to it. Your previous guest talked about stability. Let's give them some stability. Let's make the individual tax cuts permanent. Let's go back in where Kevin has already talked about, found some areas that we can work on uh, for our businesses and make it more streamlined, get our tax cuts ready so that they can have that long-term uh, outlook and forecast that gives that stability to a market that's already going. Uh, you know, and I think that's the one thing that we need to have. You've got a president who's working. You've got a president who is looking out for this economy, looking out for business. I, I agree with what you just said a minute ago. Sometimes they just need to take a chill for just a moment and realize <laughs> what good is actually happening. And this is when you see people with money in their pocket, when you see businesses expanding, this is a time when we make the move to take it to the next level. And I think that's what the president's talking about. That's what Kevin Brady's talking about. it, And we're excited about it. How much, how much, I mean, well, I, I, I know we're just talking about phase two. What, what would that, I mean, what would that really mean? You, you mentioned making the tax cuts permanent. That would be a of central importance to so many people, including your critics who said, well, you know, it's it's not permanent for individuals. So how can anybody really be that excited about this? So you make it permanent and do you do you make the tax cuts bigger? Well, I think there's some places that we might we might can, especially after what we've already seen with our, our going through with our revenues, also working with businesses. This was one of the concerns that we had, and I think we've talked about this before, mm -hmm. was that when you dealt with the business, especially the international side of this business, is we wanted to make sure that we could start it, get it going, and then if we saw adjustments that need to be made, Kevin Brady's always talked about that issue so that we can make our, our playing fields level. I think those are the kind of things now that it's not as the big of a headline pieces that you saw back in uh, December and January, but now we're starting to get to some of the fine-tuning pieces that allow our business to expand, grow, and then also give that permanency with the individual cuts and with uh, with some of the other issues, especially the business okay. and the exemption side. All right, we get some news breaking on the Mueller front that I want to get your reaction. This just coming in, the New York Times is reporting that the Trump Organization has been subpoenaed in relation to that Mueller investigation by his team. Uh, Fox News uh, right now uh, has not confirmed this. In fact, uh, sources are telling Fox that they are not aware of any subpoena. Uh, is there anything you can add to this? Uh, any sense of uh, what it might mean if the organization, the Trump organization that is, is in fact has been subpoenaed? Well, I think it just goes back to this whole issue of the, of the Mueller investigation to start with. And when he's looking at this thing, if, they're, if he's subpoenaing now, then look for documents. But what we've seen so far coming out of his investigation is the fact that just as our House Intelligence Committee said, you know, Russia was in, you know, playing in the election. They've done this for years. We should not be surprised. Putin is a cold warrior who, who wants to have relevance in the world. He's done this before. Um, I think what we're looking at here, though, is nothing that shows that there was a collusion between the president and Russia to defeat Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton defeated Hillary Clinton. She was a bad candidate with a bad message who actually just disliked people. If you don't believe me, just look what she said this week. When you do that, maybe she should have had a map to Wisconsin. Maybe she could have gone and asked for directions you there. Know, just to remind Instead the of viewer what this. she did say, and this I, I found, found this very offensive to me as a woman, yeah. as a wife, uh, as a mother of a son. She suggested that women didn't vote for her because they were too influenced by their husbands and by their sons. They wanted to vote as their husbands or sons told them to. I mean, that is just wow. absolutely bizarre because now she's blaming women. And I just asked Congressman, uh, how, how does she ever expect women to like her when she's faulting them for losing the election? It's You're right in that she was not yeah. a good candidate, absolutely not a good candidate. And it had nothing to do with being a woman and everything to do with her. That said, we're now getting reports. The New York Times says that uh, Mueller's team is looking into any Russian real estate deals the president may have had. Any thoughts on that? Well, I think at a certain point in time, this investigation is my understanding. He was supposed to look for collusion in the election, and now it's become a, it's, it looks like he's just expanding this scope out, and we've already seen the things going. I think the president's made it very clear there was no collusion. The House report has made it clear that, that we found no collusion. All we found is Adam Schiff from the House perspective looking to work for the political side of, of the House and keeping this issue out there going. That's the churn that we've got to get out of, and I think what we've seen so far from that investigation is that they're just sort of 
reaching out there. I think the president will respond as he always has, and it will just continue to see his uh, name cleared. We'll continue to see what we already know, and that was Russia been involved in the in these uh, trying to look at these elections around the world. They've not just done it here; they've done it other places in the world. We have to be ready. And just as the administration today, uh, Secretary Mnuchin was put in uh, uh, sanctions against Russia, dealing with this issue. That's We're right. supporting the UK. The UK is fighting back against Russia. There's a lot going on on this front. And again, this Mueller investigation just continues to be uh, something that I think is expanding beyond the scope because maybe he hadn't found what he wants. Maybe he's trying to make a name for it. I don't know what he's trying to do. But at this point in time, I do know one thing. Let the investigation continue because at this point, it's not shown. And the president's been very clear there was no collusion. And let's move forward. Congressman, it's good to see you. Thank you so good. much. Trish, take care.